Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless gossip channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Surprise for Heather and Lucy Daniel and Victor Fire as he ends his act. Daniel tells Lily she's a genius for proposing he hire Sally to design his new home. If she has time, she agrees to attend their meeting. Are you still cool with me living just a few floors down from you? Daniel had to ask. Lily informs him that he has already purchased the property. Daniel simply wants her to be as enthused about it as he is. If I'm being honest, Lily says, she gives him a kiss. I am overjoyed. I'm overjoyed that we'll be close to each other. Daniel has some time before meeting Sally as does Lily. They get along. Devin approaches Abby at Society and requests a reservation for 52 guests for evening. Abby smiles and wonders why he's there. He wanted to see his gorgeous woman and give her an update on Aria's progress with her hearing aids. Abby discovers he's going to see Lily at their previous address. Devin admits to being unsettled by the current state of affairs. Abby inquires as to what he is on about. Devin is primarily discussing the company and Mamie's investment. He's not sure how it will affect things, considering her insistence on reintroducing Nate into the fold. Abby knows he intended to settle things with his cousin in the end. Devin believes it is premature to bring Nate back, while Mamie is attempting to compel family unity through commercial dealings. Y and R in Devin. Abby tells him to be self-sufficient and not to be influenced by others. It's nothing to be concerned about, just trust your instincts and you'll be fine. Devin agrees, but it's not the only thing that worries him about Mamie's involvement. Tucker is involved in attempting to approach him. Abby wishes he'd simply leave them alone. Devin, she believes, will do the right thing. Don't let Mamie push you around and don't let Tucker bully you into anything. Devin adores her for it, and the two kiss and hug. Why and are Devin Abby? Heather and Lucy enter the athletic club's front doors, drop their baggage, and Heather smiles. Lucy hopes her father finds them a place to live so they can feel like they're really there. Heather says she'll contact Daniel after they've settled in. Lucy reminds her that this is a surprise. She expresses her longing for home. Heather nods and says, me too. Lucy misses her father as well, saying, I'm really happy I get to be near him. More, the exciting Y and R is back. Reunion of Baldwin and Fisher. Chloe notes Sally's upbeat and lively demeanor at Crimson Lights. What's going on? Sally admits she's on her way to meet with her first customer, Daniel Romolotti. Chloe is relieved that Kevin will not be going over to the cardboard boxes and recliners. Sally is certain Daniel will want something unique. She expresses how wonderful it is to be enthusiastic and have something to look forward to. Chloe suspects her attitude is about more than simply work, and she believes things are getting back on track between her and Nick. Why and our Sally Chloe? Sally tells Chloe that Nick is fine professionally, but not so much personally. He made it plain that she must determine what she desires. Chloe thinks it's simple. You want a successful, gratifying future with Nick as your partner in every way. Sally admits that Nick's fast kick in the a dollar dollar truly awakened her up. Her moping and sobbing in of her pillow was pitiful. She needs to get her act together. I am going to embrace this new career. I am going to live my life and I am finally going to get my spark back. Chloe gives her a high five. Why and R Sally Chloe. Chloe hopes Adam isn't included in the new plan. She admits to having a bad few days and Sally wonders what's up. When Daniel walks in, Chloe is going to explain. Sally introduces them, but they immediately recognize each other and hug. Sally can't wait to get to Daniel's house and present her ideas to him. Sally invites Chloe to join her at Daniel's to share her thoughts as Daniel moves away to take a call. Chloe would be delighted to accompany you. My and our Chloe Daniel. In Victor's office, he tells his children, Nikki and Nate, that the moment has come to reveal the truth. I must admit that my mental state has been somewhat precarious recently. I hate to admit it, but I've been in denial for quite some time. As a result, the moment has arrived for me to take action. He apologizes to Nikki, saying, I'm sorry, my darling. Nikki takes a sniff. That announcement was not at all what she had hoped for. Adam admires the fact that he is confronting what they have all noticed. Victor accuses him of attempting to dupe him into seeing a doctor. Adam responds that he just stated that he was in denial, 
Would he have cooperated if he had been confronted? Victor apologizes to Nick, explaining that he was terrified of what was happening to him. What needs to be done? Victoria inquires. How do we deal with this? Why and our Victoria? Victor's first priority is to preserve Newman Enterprises. Nick and Victoria both say that he is the number one priority. Nate explains his plan for Victor to take a leave of absence while he is diagnosed at a top clinic. He's already written a press release to explain Victor's leaving. Adam, do you agree with this plan of action? Victor inquires. No. Adam responds. I don't. Absolutely not. More. Spoiler, has been shot. Adam is certain that Victor's absence will be interpreted negatively by competitors and the press. Rumors and conjectures have turned into a blood sport. Someone will find out and take advantage of the situation. Nick inquires whether he has a backup plan. Adam is correct. We bring Dad's diagnosis and treatment. We keep everything in-house and private as it should be. We get him everything he needs, and as a family, we keep the semblance of normalcy. Nate believes it is a mistake since Victor need a restricted specialized setting. Adam tells him they're Newmans, they can make the towers or any place else into the most specialized environment in the world, and they can recruit the greatest specialists money can buy. Nate advises Victor that compromising on something so essential would be a terrible mistake. Mom, what do you think? Victoria stands up. Nate, Victoria, Nick, Adam, Nikki, and R. Nikki believes they're all going too far ahead of themselves. Before they can make a decision, they need to know what they're dealing with. Victoria apologizes, but she has given this some thought and agrees with Adam. Adam was not expecting to hear that. Victoria agrees that the press will go after her. It's best if Victor stays put. Why and R. Victor. Divin and Lily finish and send something to Lily's house. The conversation shifts to Mamie and what she's done and what she aspires to do. Is that even a possibility? Lily wonders about the company's future if Nate returns to work with them. Devin has been thinking about it, and his response is, maybe. Nate destroyed a number of bridges that need to be rebuilt with them. He also doubts Mamie's honesty about her company intentions and whether or not they involve Jill. He asks Lily if she can see Nate working at Chancellor Winters again, and she says, definitely not as CUO. Lily concurs. Mamie seemed to be hoping that they will rely on their family ties rather than their relationship to Jill. Devin points out that Jill owns half of the company and that they work with her. Mamie must realize there's no way around it. Why and are Devin Lily? What would you think of that? Lily worries if Mamie's objective is to drive Jill out and have their family be the only proprietors of the business. Devin doubts Mamie has the money or power to bring down Jill. Lily believes Tucker will come in handy. Devin believes he is now preoccupied with Ashley and the Abbots. He has no notion what his strategy is and is sick of fretting about what he'll do. When they return to Nate, Devin says it's a moot point because he wants to continue at Newman. Lily believes that making an effort to reconcile would mean a lot to Mamie. It touched a nerve with her. Nate is their family and he has worked hard to put the past behind them. Devin will try it out for Mamie and Lily. Devin is leaving. Outside the door, he texts Nate, wondering if he's available for a drink. More. Tyler Christopher's cousin, a soap actor, remembers the late star. Heather phones Daniel in the club dining room and leaves a message wondering if he's found a place for her and Lucy to stay when they return to Geno City. More. Eric Braden takes a stand against bad customer service. Daniel arrives at his flat, his phone showing a missed call from Heather. He tells Sally that he wants a relaxing home that seems like it belongs to someone who enjoys both art and technology. Sally assures him that they are on the same page. Chloe has some suggestions for the dining room. Sally warns that if her ideas are better than her own, she will steal them. A knock is heard at the door. Daniel believes it is Lily, but it is Lucy. They embrace. Heather enters when Harry invites her in. They exchange pleasantries as she kisses his cheek. Daniel introduces himself and explains that Sally is assisting him in decorating the space. Lucy pretends to despise the place until she learns she'll be receiving her own room, at which point she exclaims, I love it so much. Heather and Lucy agree that the place is cool until Daniel, Sally, and Chloe step into the bedroom. Sally, Daniel, Chloe, and R. Sally completes her initial assessment and Daniel expresses his satisfaction. 
he appreciates Chloe's assistance. They depart and Daniel leaves the door to the hall open, telling Heather and Lucy that he can't believe they're there. I may have found a place for you to live. It's a lovely apartment that will be ready in about a month and a half. Lucy's face sinks. Heather confesses that she does not want to stay at the club. Daniel informs his daughter that she can stay at his house every night if she wishes. They embrace as Lily approaches and takes in the situation. Lily joins them and is relieved to find that Heather and Lucy received the entire tour. I didn't know you guys were back in town. Y and R Daniel Lucy Lily Heather. Nate informs the Newmans that while he understands the need to control the publicity, the doctors can monitor and regulate things much more clearly in a clinic. Nate believes he is suggesting that they send their father away. Nate says, for the time being, he promotes voluntary admittance to a cutting-edge facility. Victor takes out his phone as Nate speaks. So that would keep me sequestered from my company and my family for an indeterminate amount of time. Nate emphasizes that the physicians will want to get a grasp on his situation without interference from outside sources. Victor ponders the question, So, what would happen to Newman Enterprises while I'm gone? Sally and Chloe remark on how in tune they are at Crimson Lights. Sally informs Chloe that she is delighted she found success at Marchetti. Chloe informs her that things aren't going well there. In fact, I think I made a terrible mistake. More, Courtney Hope responds to a rude remark. Devin kisses Abby at society and informs her that he and Lily are on the same page. They'll listen to Mamie and be skeptical of Tucker. He also made the decision to contact Nate. More, keep an eye out. Michelle Stafford is not pleased with herself. Her son is not either. At Newman, Adam requests that Nate inform them about what will happen to the company while their father is away. Nate believes it is self-evident that Victoria will resume her role as CEO. Victor is generally pleased with her job, and it will be one less thing for him to worry about while he is getting treated. Victor inquires as to if this was Victoria's idea. She says, no, not at all. Nate informs Victor that he kept their conversations between the two of them private at his request. Victor tells Nate that he respects at least some of what he has done. Sweetheart, I think it's time to drop the charade. He says to Nikki, way past time, in my opinion, Nikki responds. Victor leans forward and smiles at Nate, saying, you're fired. Victoria's pupils dilate. Nick and Adam's eyes widen in confusion. Victor smiles contentedly at himself. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.